So what Net Sanchez says, uh, because I talked about the video about child abuse and all the abuse that um, has happened in your Bible with the killing, murdering of children, the genocides, um, the sacrificing of children, how ancient Israelites did child sacrifice. She said that you're not reading the Bible then, but that's exactly what I'm reading. Uh, God is written in word for the spiritual eye, not man's physical outward works. God is to be read in things not seen, which is a excuse to let God off the hook, so to speak. Um, God is not of the earth, of this earth. Child abuse, wickedness, you know, is mankind's making. <clears throat> no. Your book, and Isaiah says that your God created all the chaos, all the evil, all the calamity. It says that he created that. But I also said to her, omnipresent. And she re responded, meaning everywhere, in all people, in all things. You see, in the Hermetic teachings, as well as your Bible, it's saying that God manifested everything from him itself whether through but through a mental thought projection not physically itself because if god manifested a chair that i'm sitting in then the chair would know that it was god so it can't it's not god but it's of god so the your god is in the presence of everything omnipresent meaning that even in the things that you see that is negative that we view as negative that your god is in it but he said it i created the calamity the chaos you know, Jesus said he came to not bring things together, but to create issues. So your Bible repeatedly tells you this. And if you believe that Jesus was God, then Jesus said that he came to separate, to create issues, not to bring about this peace. Uh, so, but if a God is, is not part, is not the creator of evil, then that means something else outside of God created evil. And if there can be something outside of God, then therefore God is not God. If you can understand what I'm saying there, because nothing can be apart from God. Y'all like to say that because your book says later on that God can be, can't be in the presence of evil. But if God is omnipresent, then how can he not be in the presence of evil? Because evil is there. Now, if you're going to go back and say, well, God cannot sin. Well, OK, I can grant you that in the sense that God and the devil, good and evil are on the same pole. It just depends upon where you're vibrating at on that pole. If you're on the higher right side, then, yeah, there's little to no evil. But the yin yang symbol shows that for all the white there is black for all the black there is white so when you go to the far left of evil then yeah that's a little bit good but it's all mostly all negative there's no absolutes in anything but god and the devil exist on the same plane plane made out of the same substance is the same thing homo uses that's what it is so if your god is if something outside of your god then your god is not god because it all can never be incomplete taken away from or added to